Hey everyone, welcome back to NVIDIA Gaming Network. I'm Julian, I'm here with Jay Crow, who works with Arma 3, and we're gonna talk about Arma 3 Apex. Yes. So, tell me about this expansion. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's kind of the product of three years of work all coming together uh, in a nice little package, I guess. So the standout additions, of course, is uh, Tanoa, 100 square kilometers of this jungly South Pacific terrain. What is that American? Terrain. How big is that? Uh, big enough, I think. Is it? <laughs> it's all right, 100 square kilometers. Well, long. maybe we can think about it in a different way. It's kind of like you can put yourself down anywhere on the, on the map. You can walk an hour in any direction, and you're always going to be finding something new. Okay. That's, that's kind of like, there, so are no, there are no corridors, there's no limits in armor, so you just keep going, discover, explore the map, and yeah, that's kind of the centerpiece of, uh, of the Apex expansion. But it's complemented also with new weapons and vehicles. So at Apex, we had this sort of few meetings, we decided, you know, what can we add to the game? What can, what, what can we give players to almost like explore this new terrain in? So we came up with new classes of uh, aircraft, so these VTOL things, these enormous sort of right, flying... Right, Osprey, exa Yeah, exactly. Things. And, you know, stick another vehicle inside it and uh, stick your whole squad in there. What, what I like about all these content uh, expansions, these updates, is that it's really going to change how players can approach the game tactically, you know, mm -hmm. strategically. That was always such a huge part of Arma 3, right, is setting up you know, a full like battlefield uh, uh, game plan yeah. and working through it. And now you've added new environments. They're they're more jungly, right? You described it as like yeah. green hell sort of That's thing. That's exactly right. right and yeah. you've complemented it with these new lighter lighters and shaders, right? So now it's it's a little bit more like you say it's it's claustrophobic and mm -hmm. enemies can ambush you more. And now you've got new ways to move troops around. How are players going to now have to approach this entirely new environment with these new tools they have? That's a good question. Yeah, like as, aside from just the, the jungle and the challenges that brings, uh, it, the fact that the, this terrain is made up of many little islands is also quite different. You're sort of given an objective and you're said, you know, go out and do that. Um, so players are sort of have to adapt and learn and, and fail, but then hopefully succeed. There's a lot, a lot of failure when you first start out in armor, right? It's not like right. a typical, you know, like a Call of Duty or even a battlefield, right? Yeah. It's much more focused on tactics and strategy and, and little... And learning and little experience learning. Yeah, and little, experiencing little as details well. that make you successful out there on the battlefield. But maybe one thing that will help players this time, uh, we focused it a little bit more on multiplayer. Mm -hmm. So alongside the content and the, and the terrain and stuff, we have a, a new co-op campaign. So that's one to four players. It sort of scales dynamically, so your challenge will be uh, fit for one person, but if you know three of your buddies come and join, you'll all have fun as well. So yeah, you're, you're gonna die. You're definitely gonna die. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but Faith in me is inspiring. You're definitely gonna we, But we have a new uh, revive system. So again, if you're playing with your buddies, you go down uh, in the campaign, you have a revive system. You come along, they can get you back on your feet. Great. Uh, we've also sort of overhauled the, the way you respawn in armor, so it's a bit more um, well, it's better presented. You can see what's going on. You can see where, where your objectives are going to be. You can plan better. So with these uh, sort of new gameplay mechanics, um, together with the, the cop campaign itself. Okay, so if I pull like a Leroy Jenkins and get everybody else wiped out, like I'll be I'll be forgiven. I think it depends on like your friends, basically. Okay, they, so they, I won't. They may still I hold it against be you. Forgiven. Yeah. All right, mm. good to know. So you can actually play it already, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, that's right. We announced uh, on Monday, our release date is the 11th of July. Uh, but alongside that, we released a, a sort of a sneak preview build. Uh, so if you go onto our website, you can find information about that. Basically, if you've pre-ordered the game, you can go and kind of help us now, sort of like a, a beta test before the main release. So you can get your hands on the island and the vehicles and yeah, see how, see how it's working and give us some feedback. Where, All right, you guys, yeah. July 11th, if you want to play the finished game, if you want to get in on early, go ahead, check out their website. Jay from Arbor 3, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you in very much indeed. Thanks, guys.